Hi, my name is David. Today we're going to do number 1748, Sum of Unique Elements. This is an easy level problem on Leak code, and we're going to solve it in JavaScript. So you're given an integer array nums. The unique elements of an array are the elements that appear exactly once in the array. Return the sum of all the unique elements of nums. So for example, you get a nums array with one, two, three, two. The output is four because there's the unique elements of one and three that only appear once. We can't use two because it's repeated. And we add the values of one and three and we get four. So that is what we need to do. So how are we gonna solve this? Is that first we need to create a variable to hold this output value. So create some variable to hold output. And next we need to, we need to keep track of all the unique uh, elements in this array. So creating a hash table is a great way to organize this. So we create map variable. And then with this, we're going to keep track of how many times it's repeated. So we can say, tell if it's unique or not. So after that, we're going to loop through nums array. And inside of this loop, we're going to create a a condition to see if the map, the current index value of that value is the current index value of the array is inside of the map. If it's not in it, is inside of the map object. If it's not in it, we add it and set it to one. That's the key, that's the value. So that is going to see. If it's not in it, we're going to add it to it. So the first time we see that number, we're going to add it, that value, and set it the key value equal to one. And otherwise, else we increment the value of that key. So we see this number again twice. So when we do this one, two is there twice, the value is going to be two. So what we need to know, what we need to focus on is that the key values that have a value of one. So after that, we're gonna loop through the map object. And inside of this, we have to create a condition to see if the key value has key has a value of one. So if true, we're going to add the sum by the integer of the key, since the key will be a string. And lastly, you will return sum. So to put it in code, we first create the variable that sum, and it starts off as 0. And next, we create the map as an empty object. We loop through the nums array. So for that num of nums. And inside of it, we will have to create a condition. So if map the num is not in it, if we're seeing this value for the first time, we add it and set it equal to one. else we increment this value. So this will get, create us the map of all the unique, all the unique values, all the elements, and how many times is it repeated. So next we have to loop through the object, map object, for let key in map. OK. 
Okay. So when we do this, we only have to take the value if the map num the the map has a key value of one. So if map dot key is equal to one, which is what we need, we have to add the sum by the integer of key. And lastly, return sum. Great. So our time complexity is that we're going to use O of n because we're creating, we're looping through this nums array. And the space complexity will also be O of n since we're creating this map that's proportional to how long this nums array is. Thank you.